We have an update on a story we followed for over the years about a young man's journey. I first heard about Yanni Curry a decade ago after an accident left him paralyzed. He shared his tale of strength and determination, and now there's a new chapter. Yanni just completed an astonishing ride across the country over three thousand miles and will reeve is here and i wanted to be able to go and i couldn't and i said well will is the perfect person to do it i don't know if you realize this will is the son of christopher and dana reeve who really inspired so many of us and yanni as well uh, yeah. thank you yeah no thank you robin it was, it was an honor to be there and my dad often said that a hero is an ordinary individual who finds the strength to persevere and endure in spite of overwhelming obstacles. And that's what my dad and my mom were to me. And that is what Yanni Corey and his wife Susan are to so many people. And it was an honor to spend some time with him. Take a look. Yanni Corey is marking an incredible milestone on a long symbolic journey. How are you? Thanks, it's a ride across America for a cause with profound meaning to Yanni and to me. For the final leg of the 3,100 mile ride from LA to DC, I geared up and joined in. Now we're ready. The ride raising money and awareness for spinal cord injury research. Last day. Every day for two months, Yanni began his day like this, lifted into his specialized power chair, surrounded by family and friends, portraits in commitment, and, well, we'll call it enthusiasm. The ride began in March, but the journey started more than a decade ago. In 2006, Yanni dove into a sandbar in the Pacific Ocean and was instantly paralyzed. He was told he would never walk again. That day, another life changed forever. His then girlfriend, Susan's. He is the same person he always was, and I always said I didn't fall in love with him because he could walk. My mom said to my dad, similar, she said, you're still you, and I love you. Here's a story of one man's journey. Ten years ago, Robin and GMA shared Yanni's story for the first time as he found his calling, creating a line of gyms for people living with paralysis. Next Step Fitness. Today, there are seven Next Step gyms with plans to expand. Yanni has become an advocate for the nearly 6 million people in America living with paralysis. Insurance on average only covers 36 days of rehab for people. And then you're sent home with access to nothing. The exercise and physical therapy Yanni promotes has brought him personal returns, like in this priceless moment. You're standing. For a long time right now. You're standing. Caught on our GMA cameras in 2012. Robin, I have a little surprise. I'd like to give my wife a hug here. Have our wedding dance we never had. <laughs> the wedding dance they thought could never happen. Susan still feels that moment. What I love and I miss um, and is so grateful in that moment is just how tall he is. I forget that. You know, I forget that most days and um, it's just great to see him in that way, um, to see him standing and see him be, you know, as um, as large in you know in, in stature as he is um, in his heart. So, what is your latest physical milestone? My core is getting a lot stronger, which is the reason I was able to do this trip across the country. And uh, yeah, I guess from a physical milestone, it's getting across the country. <laughs> With humor and humility, Yanni sees the bigger picture. You know, kind of took this slap in the face to make a difference. People used to tell my dad, you were meant for this to happen to you. And he was like, what do you mean? I had a life, I had plans, and now they've completely changed. Have you found yourself specially equipped to handle everything that life has thrown at you? I definitely think that I knew it happened for a reason. Have you found that reason? Next step, yeah. The finish line, triumph, another indelible moment, like the wedding dance forever in his mind, always giving him hope. Hopefully one day uh, I'll be uh, yeah, break dancing instead of slow dancing. <laughs> yeah. 
Yanni Corey's ride has so far raised over $350,000 for people living with paralysis. Guys, just spending just a few hours uh -huh. with Yanni and with Susan, it, everything I saw in them, all the good, all the inspiration they provide to people, really, it did remind me of my own parents and it was emotional for me and uh, a nice bit of symmetry that a foundation I'm involved in, the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation, uh, got Yanni and Next Step on its way all those years ago. Mm, That's I know, fantastic. what a connection they <laughs> have. Yeah, he has something planned for 2021. Yeah, he's talking a big game. He wouldn't exactly reveal what it was, okay. but he's ready to, to keep going and maybe ride in the reverse direction. Who knows? But, uh, these, <laughs> but these next steps are making a real difference. Oh, they yeah. really are. I think that the, the, there's real progress. Like, hope is a tangible thing in the spinal cord injury and paralysis communities, and, and Yanni is at the forefront of all that. So it really was an yeah. honor to be a part of it. Thank you for letting me help oh. tell his story. Oh, right my now. gosh. I got to tell you. I know your parents had the privilege of uh, working with some with your mom. Get emotion. This young man, I mean, he was 12 and 13 when his parents passed. And the way you have just, you and your siblings, and um, I know that you are an intern. Sorry, guys, uh, you are an intern here, but you are a fine young man, and I know they are smiling down on you and so proud, because I know I. No, they just wanted me to do good work, and here we are. And you're doing it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bill. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.